What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the desktop sharing feature. So first of all, you have to have full access Rec Room Studio for this. You can check this in RecNet settings and then there's a Rec Room Studio tab. And then um, there's also a area to request for this and I'll leave that link in the description. Let's go. So first, how you turn this on. There are some buttons on the bottom here. So there's a power button, a input button, and a report button. The power button turns it on, so I'll turn it on. You can see my OBS right here. So yeah, and then over here is for if you have more than one monitor, it changes which monitor it's taking the input from. And then the report button, obviously if someone is sharing something inappropriate, your, it'll show up and it'll say report the screen share and then you'll say why you need to report it. There are also these things called the desktop audio share that comes with it and it looks like a normal speaker just with metal corners and on the back there's a power and input button. So to turn it on you click the power button and then it'll like instead of having to play something through your mic um, it'll pick up audio directly from your or from the input, which you can change down here, and it'll show a prompt, and it'll cycle through all of them. And then um, instead of playing it through your mic, it'll just play it through this. So it's really useful. The downside with this is that it mutes all your rec room audio, so you can't hear anything in rec room because then there would just be an infinite feedback thing, and it's just really annoying, and it's irreversible. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more tutorials, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.